Tom Vandervoort from the Sporting News Studios, and we've got a great piece on the site this week by writer Matt Crossman on the art of the field goal in the National Football League. One of the sources for that story, local resident Ken Walter, former NFL punter and holder, held for two game-winning field goals in the Super Bowl. We had Ken in the studio, and he told us this story about the game winner in Super Bowl 38 when the New England Patriots beat the Carolina Panthers. We're, we're jogging out there going, oh my goodness. What's there, eight seconds, and there were six in the other one. You know, right. A couple second difference. Adam and I, we look at each other, we're, we're half smiling, half like, you kidding me? We this kinda, again, right? We kind of give each other a fist bump. We, we get out there, we get lined up. All of a sudden, time out. They ice us, which was really good because I don't know if I'm going to give too much information, but I don't play anymore, so I'll let them <laughs> give it. it out. That's what we're all about. Uh, <laughs> but we had a bad spot. And, you know, the field is super painted on, on Super Bowl. Right. There's a lot of paint. They'll paint the grass. We had, you know, you got green all over you from just painting the grass green, painting the logos. Um, but we had this divot. And I got down on my knees before they called the timeout. And I'm waiting for Adam to pick his spot. And typically when I see him frantically uh, doing this and he's kind of looking around, looking at me, he's looking this way. But we're right on the hash mark. So you typically, you know, we're on the, you, you, don't, you never go into the hash because that takes you outside. So you want to stay inside the hash mark. Well, there was nothing inside the hash mark. So if we use that as inside, we're going like this, time out, good. Anytime there's a time out, we, can figure we out tell everybody to, to huddle right. up. Well, our huddle kind of shields them. The huddle wasn't a uniform one, which is good. Guys are kind of standing around. Um, but our typical sign, I guess it's like nonverbal communication, we look at the center and we'll say this, and we'll say this way. So he knows when, when he gets up to the spot of the ball, which is straight back where we didn't like, right. this, this, the long snapper will typically take his right foot, put it behind the ball, take the ball and just roll it. Uh, referees don't, they don't usually say much, you know, because unless you're moving it forward or backwards, you know, they're sliding it, sliding it laterally, they're not gonna really right. say much. So, you know, it happened that we found a sweet spot back here and it was a nice little bump, like a T. And uh, so we by moving it a couple feet that way, that was you're it. directly lined up. It was money. Walter also talked about holding for kicker Adam Vinatieri when the wind was blowing either left or right. So if we have a right to left wind going this way hard, okay, we know the ball is going to take off that way. So what I'll end up doing is uh, the kicker will give me the spot and I will just open up. I will give him all of this area to bring his leg through. We know that the wind is going to blow that way. So if I give him this area, he can work it. We will look in the stadium. If it's a McDonald's restaurant in there, if it's a, a right. clock, we'll say, okay, you know, the inside of that clock, the outside of the McDonald's arch, that's our aiming point. Sounds are like we, golf. You know, are we giving yeah. up the post? Yes, right. we're giving up the post. It's 25, right. 30 miles. Right, it's like two balls line. to the outside exactly of the cup, but it's right. going to curve in yep. there. So right. I will open up like this, giving him all of this room. He'll take his steps as such so that when I come down with it, I get my hold. He's going to bring it out. I'm not in the way. I'm not jamming him or anything. Mm -hmm. And we just let it work. When, the, when we have a left to right wind coming, it's a lot different. I usually just get way up in here. I mean, I, I, sometimes I, they would say I'd overdo it, but mm -hmm. from doing a lot of practice, I felt like you had to because if he opened up his hips too much, it, the ball's gone. So I'd come up into here and I would squat down nice and low. I would catch it, we would be here, and it closes all of this off. We've got the full 26 minutes of this interview available for you. Just look for the link down below, and thanks for watching.